is my Mars 3 Pro 3D printer. I'm going to show you all the steps I take from an STL file to a printed and paintable 3D figure. This is the same for any print that you want to do. So let's head straight over to my mini labs and pick out something to print. I chose a Spear Maiden by Patricher Mini miniatures. Uh, this person says that they had 35mm game type piece uh, in mind when they designed it. It's good to look at the description and they might say if they come pre-supported or not. So let's click on the download and choose the free option after all we are learning. Now that it's downloaded, head over to your downloads folder. Here you can find the zip or compress file and it should be right at the top. Make another folder somewhere to extract the files to. There are usually more than one file so it helps to keep things organized. Right click on the download, downloaded zip file and select extract all. Your computer will then ask you for a destination folder. Uh, browse and find the folder that you just made click and extract. Now all of our 3D files are ready to be put into a slicer. We are going to put our files into Lychee. Just drag the file from your extracted folder into Lychee and the object will appear on the print table. Next. Position your pieces apart from each other. Rotating a non-pre-supported part 45 degrees may improve the final result of the miniatures. As I mentioned before, I'm going to scale mine up to 125%. I should have made it larger in my opinion, but I will know for next time. Moving over to the next tab in the top center of the screen, we're now going to add supports. The way I like to do this is allow Lychee to auto-generate medium supports and then I will go in after and see if more supports need to be added. And a good tip for this is more supports are always needed. So now I'm looking for places there is an unsupported, unsupported overhang. The checkered areas show you uh, potential failure spots. It's not necessary to fill in every part with supports. Learning over time will help you understand the process better. There are other videos that cover this topic specifically. So search for those uh, if you want more information about supports.
just before we move on, uh, here's how you can select your printer in Lychee. This will give you an optimized setting for your specific printer. Okay, now you can see I have added all the supports I think the model will require. Now moving on to the third tab at the top center of the screen. Uh, for export. If you want to use my settings, they are anti-aliasing on standard and level set to full. Before you hit export, insert your printer's USB drive. Now hit export after the ad. Look for your USB and save it there. Now it will preview your print and save it to your USB. Uh, we can hop off the computer and take our file over to the 3D printer. First things first, we need to check our printer and make sure that there are no failed prints left behind uh, with our plastic tool. Also by doing this, if you're like me and leave the resin in the tray, you are mixing the resin parts back together. Insert the USB drive and turn on the machine. I like to use the manual mode to send the printer to the home position before starting. Now hit print, find your file, and then hit the go button. This is the mask I use while the hood is off of the machine.
and this is the resin I'm currently, currently using in the printer. Lost a bit of footage here, but removing and cleaning the prints is the same every time. First I add isopropyl alcohol to a container. Then I use a steel scraper to remove parts from the plate and put them into the IPA. I then use a paintbrush on all the parts to get into all the cracks and then put them back in to soak for a couple of minutes. Now into a box lined with tin foil and an LED light on top for 10 minutes. And then I flip them and do another 10 minutes. At this point they aren't fully cured. I will take them to a windowsill and leave them there for 24 hours in the sun. Super glue is the only thing that I've found that will hold a strong bond on resin prints. So I'm not going to show the painting process, but I will share with you the final painted miniature. So here it is. 
I think resin printed miniatures turn out great. I like them a lot. Uh, more in 75mm scale, like the Bounty Hunter. I did very minimal cleanup on the Spear Maiden. If I were to print the Spear Maiden again, I would do it all in one piece. Uh, I think the arms would have looked nicer, but I'm still happy with the result. And by the way, here are a few other models that I'm still working on. Uh, if you could, let me know if this video helped you. If you spot any pr improvements I could make uh, to my processes, also let me know. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Until next time.